What's going on guys? Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. In this episode, we are going to continue the monster rack build. My plans are, until my server PSUs arrive, I am going to be throwing back in <laughs> this Chinese 90 plus gold 1600 watt PSU onto this rig right here. So I want that one to basically take place of a server PSU for the time being so I can put 13 cards on this motherboard. Right now I have nine cards, nine cards running off of this 1200 watt P2 EVGA ATX PSU. And it is definitely not safe. It's been running like this for a while, hasn't been an issue, but just for my peace of mind, I would like to remove it um not gonna lie to you guys so right here you can see sata by six pin this is definitely not recommended in any way the only reason i did that on this rig and this rig is because they are 1660s i can undervolt them to around 65 watts so they don't exceed like the crazy normal draws that other cards like the rx 580s and stuff pull so my plan is I want to get that PSU. I want to get it set up with this jumper cap right here. So it will act as a server PSU. All right, so the overall plan is to remove these three cards. There's one here, one here, and one on the board. Then I'm going to remove this other card that is behind the screen right here. On top of that, I want to remove this card that is on the board. That way, with these eight cards, that makes nine this one here makes 10 and then 11 12 and 13 down here that's going to be the plan so let's put the jumper cap on this thing get this thing plugged in up here to the 240 volt ready to go then what i'm going to do is disassemble this bottom half of the rig and i'm going to take this card off the motherboard and we'll get some uh, obviously hangers on it and we'll get it prepped. For the meantime, that beta frame is gonna stay there. Eventually, I will change the board over to the bottom half of one of those, just like that is right there. But, like I said, for the time being, this is only a temporary situation. There's not gonna be any server PSU involved. Once they are, that will be removed, and so will that with the new game changer board. Man, I really hate shutting off rigs, but we gotta do what we gotta do. All right. Cards are hung. There they are. All three hung up top. I got the PSU up here. As you can see, I put the, the uh, 24 pin jumper cap just so this turns on once it's plugged in. I have the uh, C14 cable right here that's plugged into the PDU back there. Now, as you can see, all these cards are removed. I removed the six pin by SATA cable as well. And I put the HDMI into this GPU right here, which is in the 16 slot on this motherboard. So let's fire this back up so this thing gets hashing. As you guys know, the H110 has a power button on the back. So we'll push that. Let's make sure the screen registers. All right, ASRock, good, good. Internet cable is working. I actually rerouted that because it was driving me insane. It was like right across my face. But uh, all right, so now that I get that done, now I gotta shut down this one. I gotta remove these two and do the same thing. I'm gonna pull that card out, remove the six pin by SATA as well on this rig. I'm gonna set it up with a hanger and throw it up here. So let's, uh, let's do that now. Okay, I like to unplug the rigs just to be safe. All the rest of the power just dumped out of the machine. All right, so now I'm gonna disconnect this and I'll be back in a second. All right, that one's hanging now right there. Let's turn this back on, get this thing working again. I didn't take that one off the board, so the screen's gonna register fine. This one came back up just fine. All right, that one's turning back on. Sorry, I'm in a rush. I wanna shut this down. I wanna get these all working again because that's 120 mega hash, just doing absolutely nothing right now. So let's shut this one down. We're now gonna remove this card off the board. I wanna make sure the power dumps out. Okay, screen's black. We'll get it hanging and I'll get everything plugged in, just like this. 
So there we have it. 13 1660s. Super and TI. It's a little bit of a mixed rig, but you know what? They're all the same Zotac 1660s. As you can see, I hooked up all the power cables to the uh, PCIe coming from this Chinese uh, power supply, the 90 plus gold. I have all the USBs plugged in to the board. This is kind of a chaotic mess, but it's somewhat of an organized mess. <laughs> At least I like to think so. Um, like I said, this isn't staying like this. I'll try to make it a lot neater, kind of like this rig over here. I'm also gonna neaten this one up when those server PSUs come in, because that 1600 watt back there is coming out as well. So. Let's turn on this temporary unit, shall we? Let's see how, uh, see if everything fires up. All right, just double checking. Pins all the way in. This 24 pin jumper's all the way in. All right, I just turned that on. The risers came on. Let's turn on the primary. And now let's hit power on the motherboard. Let's see if all these things ramp up. Nice. ASRock. No complaints here. Not yet, anyways. Let's make sure all 13 pop up on the screen. We didn't get any errors. 13 GPUs. 13 GPUs. Yes. Awesome. That means they're all registering. So now I need to get into my Hive OS, make sure they're all running good, make sure they're all clocked correctly, make sure they're all the same clocks, because they're all the same cards. And uh, man, that makes me feel good to have two 13 GPU rigs on the top rack. Even though I'm probably moving these down here and putting the RX 580s here, but that's for a later video. So that's all she wrote, guys. Everything is up and running. I am super excited to have two rigs with 13 GPUs on each. So now all I can hope for is this thing to stay stable in Hive OS and uh, wait for those server PSUs to come in so I can rip it apart again. And then uh, in the next video, what I think I'm gonna do is probably consolidate this 1660 Ti amped rig with this 1660 Ti amp rig so I can get 12 Ti amps on one motherboard and I will probably end up putting one normal 1660 Ti along with it to make 13. Then I'm gonna take this card off because right now there's seven and seven, which obviously makes 14. So I gotta take that one off and I'm probably going to combine this 1660 super amped rig with the RX 580 eight gigabyte armor edition rig and throw that 13th card that's up there currently with this mess. I think that's gonna be my goal. That way I can consolidate two more rigs. So literally I will free up two more motherboards and I will free up two PSUs and all of the above. Love it. All right, so as always guys, I appreciate you all for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Also, we do have the free Discord group called Misfit Mining. We'd love to have you. So stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.